What's up angels? Welcome back to my channel and if you're new, my name is Lexi and it's so nice to have you here. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> Today we're going to be doing this dreamy soft glam tutorial. I hope you guys are as excited as I am and yeah, let's just get into it. So we're going to jump right into today's video and for the look that we're going for, you really do need a very solid foundation base. Not necessarily like makeup foundation, but what you're going to be putting your foundation on top of. So I have really dry skin. I wanted to make sure that I prep my face properly because this is more of a matte look than it is like a dewy look. I wash my face and I use one of the facial radiance pads from First Aid Beauty. Next we're going to be using Future Dew from Glossier and this is just going to help keep my skin very moisturized so that it doesn't suck out all of the dryness in my face. I swear, if you haven't tried the Future Dew from Glossier, like this is key to any skincare or just really bomb glossy makeup. You now we're going for like the total opposite. We're doing matte makeup right now, but this is just really essential to keep my skin moisturized and just with a healthy glow, even with a matte look. I found that for me, it prevents fine lines or anything like that happening, especially with matte makeup, because we all know if you have dry skin and you try to put like matte anything on top of it, it does not work out. But with this, I swear it is everything. Next, I'm going to be using the JD Weighty 180 Dominique Cosmetics Primer. This is supposed to be hella high hydrating which I do want for my skin right now because again dry skin matte foundation does not work but I don't want to put too much and have my skin look really glowy so I'm just gonna take the slightest amount this smells so incredible it smells like it doesn't smell like flowers I feel like it smells like a fruity drink Ugh, it smells so good Wow. So I haven't tried the primer with the Future Dew together, but after using them together right now, my skin feels so, so good. My skin feels so bouncy and it just does not have any texture. I don't know if it has to do with these products or the like two steps that I did for skincare today, but these work incredible. So next I'm going to be doing my foundation. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer and I'm in the shade Ochre. So this isn't a foundation, it is just a tinted moisturizer. It's not going to give you full coverage, but it just gives me the perfect amount that I need for this. So for concealer, I'm going to be mixing two of my favorites today. This is the NARS Concealer in Macadamia and the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer in Medium 90W. So I'm going to be using the NARS Concealer under my eyes and on the side of my eyes and the ColourPop is going to be for my larger surface area, so on my nose, my forehead, and all of those places. And I'm sure many of you, especially if you're watching my makeup video, have a TikTok or have come across the video of the explanation as to why this kind of just helps give you more of like a snatched model elongated looking face so this is the hack that I'm gonna be using today and trying I've tried it a few times and I don't think I did it right the first few times but today's a different day so we're gonna be trying it out so for the ColourPop concealer I'm gonna be placing it on the sides of my mouth here I do kind of tend to get like darker circles around my mouth and I'm gonna put a little bit on my nose not too crazy and a little bit on my forehead Now that my concealer is all blended out, I'm going to be using the Ben Nye Banana Powder to set it. I feel like this light is making me look so washed out, but I have like no natural sunlight that comes into my room. So artificial light it is all the time. It's just the worst. It either looks really, really good or just terrible. So this powder is literally my favorite powder of all time. If you've been watching my videos for a long time, you know that I used to use this like maybe three years ago when I first started making videos and it has still remained my favorite. This is the best powder if you're going for like a demi matte look and it works for all skin types, which is incredible. It comes in a few different shades. Banana powder just happens to be the one that my skin tone works best with, but I think there's like three or four different shades that you can get this setting powder in and it's just amazing. Like the best, finest type Type of powder I just I love it so I know I mentioned that I have dry skin which means I don't really like to bake my face because then the powder really clumps up in any areas that I'm baking I definitely recommend to my girls who have dry skin like me not to bake your face when you bake your face you're letting the powder sit there for a long time and for me I've noticed that it does get splotchy in different places and it tends to stick to the drier parts of my skin than others and I have to try to like brush it off with a brush it's just not the vibe so for anyone who has dry skin 
we do not recommend baking on this channel. So I'm gonna be taking the Benefit Full Proof Brow Powder and this is in number three. Mine looks a little crazy, but I'm just gonna be taking a little bit of a mix of the two colors. And I'm gonna place it kind of towards the end of my brows here and just feather it out a little bit. My eyes feel so dry. I just got contacts for the first time in like three months and for all my contact queens you know that when you don't wear your contacts for a minute and you put them back in you can like feel the circle of it in your eye. It's just not a vibe, it's not fun but my eyes feel a little bit irritated right now trying to adjust back to wearing contacts but I typically wear glasses 24-7 so my eyes are just like <laughs> so now I'm going to take the excess product and kind of wisp it through the front of my brow. You don't want to drag it across though because it's going to look way too harsh for the look we're going for. To clean up my brows, I'm going to be using my NARS concealer again with a Morphe brush. This is a Morphe M432, but really any concealer brush will work. So, I don't really do my brows very often anymore, but when I do do my brows, I don't like to take my concealer to the front of my brow like here anymore. It's just too harsh for me. So, I get it kind of where the curve is to my eyebrow and just pull it down. And then to blend it out, this is just a Morphe E20. So, now we have to set our brows. I'm just using the ColourPop Boss Brow Gel. This kind of gives you like a soap brow effect, which I really, really like. I haven't tried an actual soap brow, but from what I've seen and then after using this product, I feel like it gives you pretty much the same effect. And this is only $6 from Ulta. I'm pretty sure it's $6. Not everybody likes the effect of soap brows, but I don't know. I like it, so it's my channel. So this is obviously the product that really pulls your brows together. It really helps to pull all of the hairs up and it, I swear it holds them for hours. I've used like the NYX eyebrow gel and I love NYX typically but I wasn't impressed whatsoever with their eyebrow gel. I feel like it kind of held my brow hairs up for about 20 minutes and then they fell so <laughs> so I definitely recommend this ColourPop Boss Brow Gel. So now we're on to bronzer and I'm going to be using the Natasha Denona Bronze and Glow. It's just like a mini travel palette and this is just a regular like Morphe bronzer brush. Really any brush will work for this. You do want to get a brush that is going to be more dense though so it helps when we're placing the product. So typically I kind of blend my bronzer out this way. For this look I'm going to just kind of tap it into the areas that I want it. so that it's just initially placed and then I'll go through and blend it out. You just want to make sure that you're not pulling it down and blending it this way. You want to just blend it upward. So we're almost done bronzing but you want to make sure you're hitting underneath your chin area here just to look a little bit more snatched. And for this part I'm obviously using a fluffier brush. The dense brush works really nicely for your face but not necessarily for large surface areas like your neck. And I am going to be baking underneath my jaw area, but before we do that, I want to put on my blush. So I'm going to be using the Fenty Cream Blush, and this is in Summertime Wine. So typically, I do place my blush in like the apple areas of my cheeks, but for this, because I want my face to look a little bit more elongated and snatched, I'm going to place it like right underneath my jawline. So I'll do this side first. If you don't normally wear blush, it does add so much color to your skin and it just makes it look so much more natural. So for a look like this where we're using heavy bronzer, it's really going to add more natural colors into your skin. And the placement of the blush in this look is really going to give your face more of a lifted look, which is definitely what we're going for. So now that she's pretty much blended out, I'm going to just take my beauty blender over my forehead area. I didn't add any additional blush on. It's just going to kind of pop the last tiny bits of color that are in here onto my forehead. Now I'm going to be using the Morphe setting spray just so that I can place highlighter on top afterward and then we're going to bake. The highlight I'm using is also in this Natasha Denona Bronze and Glow palette. There's literally just like a highlight and a bronzer, so I'm going to take the highlight part. And this is a Morphe 510 highlighting brush. I'm going to hit the high points of my face with this. I love this highlight because it really gives your skin like a glass 
glow which is so beautiful it doesn't have any glitter in the highlight which I really really love like do not put glitter in my highlight to me it just looks really chalky when I have glitter in my highlight and I don't know some people prefer it I personally don't I just realized I forgot to bronze up my nose a little bit but it's okay we're gonna go back right now and we're gonna do it in a sec can we just appreciate for a second Miss Natasha Denona because wow So I'm gonna hit my face one more time with the Morphe setting spray. And I'm mainly just trying to dry like my under like jaw type of area because now I'm going to be baking. Wow, after I just said we don't bake on this channel. We do not recommend baking on this channel. Apparently today we do so I'm just taking the Ben Eye powder again, and I'm gonna be placing it underneath my bronzer This is a sight you will never Ever see a rare rare moment of me baking my face Oh, I also because I don't really want to go back in with bronzer around my nose or anything clearly I don't bake often like what? But I also put a little bit on my nose area so that it makes the bronzing process a little bit easier because again, I forgot to bronze my nose and I've already put like blush and everything on. So I'm brushing this off and then I'm gonna brush this bake off on the bottom. This is just a foundation brush from Mud Cosmetics. Your girl was listening to Meg the Stallion right now and I had to uh, turn my camera off for it to cool down and whew! girls in the hood like we're we're really about it all right so next I'm going to be what am I gonna be doing oh bronzing my nose that's what we're gonna do for my bronzer I'm just using a royal and nang nickel precision angled brush with again the Natasha Denona bronzer and go in my nose area here I don't really contour my nose I just bronze it up you want to make sure that you don't completely cover this little tiny bridge area in your nose though because I do have a really nice highlight on it and that is what is going to make the nose look a little bit more snatched. I'm also going to go kind of like in the button part of my nose right here and just create a little bit more dimension and do the under part of my nose and a little bit on the top. So now we're moving on to eyeshadow and we're going to be using again Miss Natasha Denona and just the bronzer in this palette. I feel like using bronzers as eyeshadows is so, so underrated. Anytime that I'm doing just like an everyday look, I'm always, always using my bronzer as eyeshadow. So that's what we're obviously doing today. I'm just going to take a Morphe E23, which is this brush here. So I'm going to place it starting in my crease area here and just start blending it out into this area and you want to connect this to where the bronzer is for your nose because remember we brought that bronzer up here so just make sure you marry those two shades together it's all one shade now that I think about it but your girl also just got her nails done the other day I haven't done my nails in probably almost four months which it's crazy because I do my nails all the time. I love having really fun and cute designs. So quick little nail cam. This is how they're looking. They're so, so cute. I love doing little fun, funky type of designs and just always having something different. These are obviously my real nails. I don't really get acrylic. So the polish itself will probably last me about a month before I have to do them again because I'm not really doing much with my hands at home right now. I'm just at home. If I'm working, they don't last as long, but they should probably last about a month right now, so I'm so happy. So now that our eyeshadow is all placed, I'm going to take a little bit of the Macadamia Concealer again, just like the smallest amount, with a flat brush, and this is just from Mud Cosmetics. And we're going to do a very soft and subtle cut crease. So literally like the most subtle cut crease you can do, that will be completely fine. And it doesn't have to look very perfect for this look because... You want it to look soft and kind of blend it out even though it's a cut crease. So basically just like this, nothing too harsh or crazy. You want it to look really soft and almost as if it's not there. We're going to do it to the other eye and then we'll place a shadow on top. And now I'm just going to go in and blend it out with my finger a little bit. Because again, we want this to look very like soft and like a natural crease rather than like a sharp typical cut crease. And to set it, I'm going to just put a little bit of banana powder on top. 
Next, I'm gonna be doing my eyeliner off camera just because I have to get very close to my mirror, but I'm gonna be using the MAC Shape and Shade Brow Tint. This is obviously meant for your eyebrows, but I don't have a brown liner, so we're gonna be using this today for eyeliner. Okay, angels, we're back, and my eyeliner came out so good, like, color-wise, not necessarily the shape, so don't come for me that, like, my eyeliner shape looks off or whatever, but the color came out so good, I was a little worried. So this MAC pen, I said, was meant for your brows, but I've used it before as an eyeliner, and it looked so opaque and just, it was really watery, so I was a little worried about using this, but it ended up coming out really, really well for it being the brow pencil, so, but I'm so happy with how it came out for being the brow pen. I honestly would would not recommend using this as an eyeliner. I would say if you're able to get just any regular brown eyeliner, definitely use that. If you are in a rut and you happen to have this, then this works as eyeliner, but we don't necessarily recommend. So now for mascara, I'm gonna be using the Essence Volume Stylist. Also, this mascara is like $3 and it works so good. It doesn't really leave your eyelashes clumped and it really lengthens them. So we're going to try out some new lashes today and these are from Via Lashes. I had been looking at these for so long. I thought they were so beautiful and they're even more beautiful in person. These ones are Sweet Thing, Selfie, and Dreamy. So I think we're going to go with Dreamy today because obviously we're doing a Dreamy soft tutorial and these lashes are hella, hella Dreamy. It's like... They're just so soft and beautiful, so these are the lashes that we're going to be working with today. So I just put on some duo lash glue, and I like to use the brush on adhesive. It's in the like clear and green bottle, and again, we're just using the Style Dreamy from Via Lashes. So I'm already obsessed with these eyelashes. This one's still drying a little bit, so don't come for me. But they're so beautiful and soft, and I just feel like normally when you wear eyelashes, sometimes you can still feel the band. And with this one, they're so incredibly comfortable. I'm obsessed with them. I'm so, so happy that I chose these ones. I think I cut this one a little bit too short for my liking, but we're going to work with it. She's still looking good. It looks a little crazy because she's still drying right there. And now we're moving on to lips. This is the last part of the look. I'm gonna be using the LA Girl Natural Lip Liner. And you wanna kind of give your lips more of like a blurred effect on this. So when you're applying the lip liner, you don't wanna have your pencil like sharp to it. You kinda of just wanna have it on the edge so that you can blend it out as you're applying it. So now that my lip liner is done, I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. and Alyssa Ashley Lip Gloss. Wait, this is supposed to be a matte look, not a glossy look. I just realized. We're leaving the gloss on and she's just gonna be living her best life. So I think that is it for my dreamy soft glam tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it and thank you so much for hanging out with me. Until I see you next time, please be kind to those around you and I'll see you soon.